Hello folks, welcome to episode 9 of Station Ears. Last time we built an airlock, um, but then we got trapped outside. Um, and to save us a bit of trouble, um, I've wound back time just a little bit. So we've got a much less pressurised base at the moment. But that's good, because I want to do a few different things this time to actually get our base a little bit better. And then we can actually get it to the stage where it's unpolluted and really quite lovely to be in. So we can take off our mask and luxuriate in the warm environment, pollution-free. But we all require quite a few tweaks, and some of which will be based on um, what people said in the comments the last one and first of all in that respect i want to move the battery charger off of this bit here and put it actually directly on the wire over here so that it'll be charged up by our solar panels and not be drawing it out of the battery and also it'll cause less potential explosions and stuff so it's going to quickly ram that off the wall uh, oh <laughs> there you go for a little bit of a spin but never mind i think i'll put the coil in the wrong place um let's just put that there for a sec I've actually lost the charger. It seems to have disappeared. Oh, it's in my right hand. That's fine. Right, so I want to put it over kind of like here-ish instead. So I just want to flip it over. Oh, hang on. That's, no, that's not good. That's going to be facing the wrong direction. So I want it on the wall kind of here. And I just want to cable it in. Um, and this over here, I think I'll put the light on here instead. So may as well make that a little bit of a spinny-roo. This always takes a while to start going for some reason. There we go. Uh, I won't switch it on for now. Actually, it will. There, yeah, that makes it really nice and bright in here, so you can all see it on the video and all. That's going to be lovely. So, just put the batteries in there. That one over there. Actually, full. I might actually swap for that one. Charge that up. And now I just need to actually wire it up. Quickly does it. Get the wire cut at all. That's not going to cause too much of a problem for now, hopefully. Right, so the power is there. Need to get the corner. So one, another thing I need to do in this episode is I'm going to get the um, the air scrubber, the portable air scrubber from outside. Hook it up to a new thing um, that we have, we need to build, and then it'll it'll expel lots of horrible gases from inside here out into the outside world, and all will be lovely. Uh, first of all, I just want to sort this out. Three way junction. Uh, oh God. Did very well there. Okay, so that's some um, that's going. I can switch that on, and when the solar panels are on, that'll very very slowly charge that up. Uh, I could always put some coal in it to speed it up, but at the moment I don't think I really feel the need. Ah, oh, that's much more like it. Uh, that looks like it, it wasn't a mistake, but it, almost as if I planned it that way, which I didn't, uh, and so on really. Um, this <laughs> this is a problem. This arc furnace is a bit of a problem because every time we use it, apparently it is expelling bad gas into the air, which is not what we want. In fact, what we'll do is we'll take this and get rid of our tools. What we need is a atmosphere analyzer cartridge, which we're going to replace. I think there's a little tracker in there at the moment. So bring that in. So let's um, do that. And we can see what um, gases are inside the base. So we've got loads of oxygen, a bit of carbon dioxide and hydrogen. Um, hardly any of those. But we've also got X, the mysterious X, which I believe is pollutant. Which is not good. We don't want pollutant in our base, so we'll have to do a little. Um, we'll have to do a little filtering using the air scrubber, which is not inside our base at the moment. It's it's somewhere outside, so we're going to have to go and find it. And we also need to do a little uh, repair to our airlock. And um, again, based on comments and um, from the previous video, to make sure that uh, because of the previously, we were actually losing some air every time we opened it because this pressure shouldn't be in the same. You know, so it shouldn't be so close to the vent, because otherwise it gets bad readings and stuff. So I just need to move that over to kind of like there-ish and hook it up over there, and that's fine. And apparently what I could also do is put another one of these consoles and everything on the outside. So if I do get those problems I had last time where I locked myself out, I could always override it. However, that does require quite a, a lot of fannying around with wiring. And also I'd have to get past the fact that they've got to get the wires through the door, which didn't seem to do very well when we set up the first time. So I'm not going to bother doing that. I'm just going to have to make sure that I don't lock it behind me. And we should all be good. Uh-oh. Why is him? Why is him? Why is Ed going somewhere? I always get nervous when that happens. Eh, should be okay. Might have just been something evaporating. I've got something in my backpack, or my mining belt. I've got some ores. I'm just make sure that they're still there. Yeah, that's fine. Some ice oxide. We're going to need a lot of that to pressurise our base. The reason why I don't want it at full pressure at the moment is because I'm going to have to knock a hole in the wall at some point um, to lay some pipes. And I don't really want to waste, you know, like, I just don't want to waste a load of air, so I won't bother with that. Um, what am I doing? Right, so that's that wired up. That's that done. I'm, 
I was tempted to actually move this furnace. I was actually going to do this. I put the put this furnace outside uh, and put them attach some chutes up to it so we could actually remotely can like fill it up and get the stuff out of it. Like chutes are like um well chutes really. Um, but I wasn't at the moment I haven't actually um, been able to play around with it enough to actually work out how I can actually stand in the base and shove it in the chute and for it to go out into the outside world. And um, because you can put chutes in, but you can't just like it, there seems to be a need for another additional interface for you to be able to put things in, which I haven't actually quite worked out yet. Um, actually, if we do need some pipe work, we will need a, to build a new machine, so I'll be doing that. We do need a hydraulic pipe bender, which is one of the basics. Basic um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The hydraulic pipe bender. Actually, I'm not hundred percent hundred percent sure we actually need this because we've already got some pipes supplied with us from the start, but there's. There might be at least one other thing that we do need, so I think I will make it. So we need gold and copper. Bung them in. You and all. Now this is a crafting station, so it will take a while to make. And... She needs a lot of iron as well. I can leave it and not worry about it, because it will switch itself off afterwards, because there won't be enough um, stuff in the machine to like accidentally make two. Like it's sometimes something I keep on doing. While I think about it... It's something I um I don't know why I've got the drill in there. It's a stupid place to have it. Uh, where's my bloody mining belt gone? Oh, it's there. I accidentally put it in there. Let's let's not do that. Uh, let's put that in there. Let's not do that. Let's do that. Open that up. Put it in the tool slot. And there we go. That's more like it. Now I can quickly bung this back in here. One thing I'm slightly worried about is that we are starting to get towards the end of our normal um, air in the suit. We've got uh, 1,500. And I know that um, after a bit of experimenting and fanning around in preparation for this episode, that start is starting to get quite low. Um, it's a bit worryingly low, and we'll have to work out how to do something about that. I think um, in the previous base, the one that I abandoned because it went piss, um, I did actually take out the air tank, put it in the portable tank, um, and somehow replenish it. Um, but that was back in the days when this actually had some oxygen in it, and we used it all up, opening it up to pressurise this space originally. And not very well either. Um, someone suggested in the comments I use this, um, along with a couple of other things, to um, store the store the oxygen. Uh, one that um, when you actually do the cycling, um, all the oxygen goes into this crappy little pipe. Um, but someone suggested that a better solution is to actually hook it up to this. You have to use a special mount and a pipe or whatever. Um, but at the moment, I think I mean, it does seem, um, as I say, after a bit of experimenting, that this is still just about enough for our needs. And enough air from this, from these two tiles should be able to actually fit inside this pipe um, to actually, you know, to store it for when we come back in again. So that should be okay. And um, we'll leave it now, because my intention is only to, to uh, do everything in a rough and ready style for now. Um, so in theory, in future, I could, you know, do more proper, um, complicated base building. But I just want to get to, like, an even keel at the moment. I mean, I'm just, irritatingly, in real life, I simply haven't got enough time to play around with this game to actually get to the really late stuff. So it's, I think the beginner stuff is still very much what I'm aiming for at the moment. That's still 71%. Uh, what I can be doing is doing the wiring. This is still such... I'm going to have to move. I'm going to move this. I'm going to put it there-ish. No reason it keeps things out of harm's way. And I can run a wire. Oh, that actually fits it quite nicely, yes. Yeah, so we can run a wire over, the, over to there. We also need to put our little um, pipe bender up, which I'll put. This can piss off. I'll move it in a bit. In fact, I'll just give it a kick. Kick! Sod off! Right, put this in here, I think. Bring it a bit forward so it's not in the wall. We'll make sure that's, that's in the wall. That's just about in the wall. It needs to be in line with that, doesn't it? There we go, that's perfect. And that's... Should it be the hydraulic pipe bender? Yes, it is. Right, just need to wire this up. Um, this will take a second, hang on. Yeah, with solar power, power alone, that is not going to charge very fast. Um, anyway, I've cleaned this all up. Um, so the, there's a nice little wire that runs along there. Along there. It is a bit of a, sh a, bit of a piss in the arse. A piss in the arse? That um, the, um, the, uh, the, the outlets for these are on the front of the machine. So it does, it does really mean that the wires, wi your, your wiring has to be kind of like, um, kind of a bit ugly. It would be nice if it was around the back or whatever, but that's fine. I mean, I, I can I can deal with the tripping hazard. Doink! Crash. And my head is exploded. Ah, never mind. Oh, that feels actually quite nice now. So the next thing we need to do is um, sort out the air lock. Slight, um, slight problem with this. I need to move that over to there and then wire, do, do a bit of extra wiring. Um, just so we, um, the problem I mentioned earlier about um, it getting confused by the active vent um, doesn't happen. 
So, and this is going to be reasonably straightforward because I can just bung in a long straight wire. And this may just, I'm not, this might just be like a bit of a fudge based on the, um, the, like the way the game models the atmosphere or whatever. So uh, don't take this as um, necessarily what's going to always be the case. In fact, this is actually a bit of a waste of wire, isn't it? In fact, it is a waste of wire. Let's not, let's not do this. Let's put that there. Um, and I realise it's laying completely pointless. Don't do that. Oh, I've cut the wire, that's why. It just made a horrible sound and I got terrified. But it's fine. I'll have to get the, the disc out in a bit. Unfortunately, I have disconnected one of the doors, so I think that it just had a bit of a... It had a bit of a panic. So what I'll quickly do... It, I don't know, it's a bit flashing like that, but never mind. Get rid of all this. Stop! Just, stop moaning! Stop it! I've completely broken everything now. Uh, so, yeah. Get rid of that. Get the wire out. Do I, need a, do I need another one of these? I don't think I do. What I need is... Three-way? There, that's more like it. Uh, and then we just need to go back to a straighty poos here. Then... <coughs> Stop it! Right. Grab, 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 grab. Uh, and there we go. So that's going to like um, have a bit more of a correct reading when we actually do the cycling. Uh, yes, nice and clean. Everything's all connected up. Although we will need to do a little bit of rejigging here. Uh, we need the data disk. Bung that back in. This might actually... Doing this might actually start a little um, cycle. So I want to make sure that I've got everything because I'm going to go outside and mine for some more volatiles, or well, not volatiles, um, ice oxides, um, so I can pressurise the base better. Um, also, I need to bring in the air scrubber. I also do need to mm, before we okay before we go outside. Uh, I'm just going to I'm just going to put this data disk back before we go outside. I'm going to set up what we need to actually get the air the atmosphere correct um, when we actually bring the air scrubber in. So let's just go to the our new bender. And we need... Now what is it? It's a, it's a kind of like gas connectory type thing. We also need some volat um, some filters to actually... You know, let's, let's be doing that while I think about it. No, we'll wait. We'll wait, because I need to actually fill this with materials at some point. Gas tank storage. That was um, something that could possibly help us out with the airlock, but not when we're doing things in a basic manner. Right, somewhere around here. Oh, we do need a... um. We do actually need a passive vent... Uh, we need some iron for that. Grab some of you. Also, what's some here? I'll grab some copper. A lot of this stuff just requires iron. I'm just running up the furnace. So bring them in. Right, so we need a passive vent. This will just expel air um, when we actually build our little thingamabob. Right, that's good. Now we need... There's a lot of pipe stuff that I'm... God, it's in all very intimidating. Portable light. Tank connector, that's what we need. This is this kind of like acts as an interface between piping and oh hello. And your Ah We tried to go into the bloody electro printer. God damn it. Right. So this is gonna act as an interface between the portable air scrubber and some pipe work that goes to the outside world in the passive vent. So it means that it, it'll sit, we put a battery into the scrubber, it'll sit there, suck up anything that we tell it to, like nitrogen, well we don't really want to do nitrogen, but pollutants, and expel it into the open air, I believe. So, let's see. For the outside world, let's put it, um, so that the pipe is going out the middle somewhere. That's that's where the pipe's going to come out and go out there. That's where the air scrub is going to sit. Um, and then we need some pipe work. So, I'll be setting it up. We can't actually do anything until we start dismantling this, which is unfortunate, and I'm, as I'm sure you'll um, understand, because that's going to let all the air out of the base, um, which is unfortunately... Well, it's fortunate for us, because I've gone back in time with the save. Um, it means I won't be lo I'll only be losing 25 kPa's worth of pressure rather than a full base's worth, or you know, a, a good amount. So there, that's a that's the thing that we're doing. So I need to w work out on the outside which one wall I need to dismantle. In fact, in fact, 
what I might do. Let me just demonstrate something. Temperature low. Um, so it's a bit cold at the moment. But if I do that, this is putting my helmet up. Um, I'm too cold, and I've also got pollutants in the air. Um, let's just get... Let's just store this in my thing. Actually, where's it gone? Oh, it's literally just there. So, I don't actually need to open that. So it is the X we want to get rid of. If, if I expel all the air in here, it'll actually get rid of the pollutants for now, and we won't have any... Um, nasty stuff, and we can actually put the air scrubber in, and that'll keep us safe from future. Um, I'll just put that away again. Just... So, I might as well just do that, because um, it's... The, the air will rush out so quickly that um, there's not much we can do. What I could do is try building a new frame on the other side of this. Okay, let's try and do that. Um, I've got an idea, basically. Um, this might work, and it'll save us what little oxygen we actually have. So we'll need an iron sheet. We'll need iron frame. Did they have, have they got any iron frame? No. Right, let's switch that on. Iron frame. Steel frame, don't want that. We've run out of steel, which is really irritating, because it means I'll have to do some proper furnacing again at some point. I only need one. So I'm going to build this, kind of on the other side of this, come back inside, dismantle this, lay the pipe, and then go back out again and finish things off. Um, it'll be breathtaking, I swear. But it means we'll, we'll preserve what little stuff that we have, rather than just knock a hole and hope for the best. It'll just save how much um, extra arc, um, ice oxides I need to harvest. So I think that's everything I need. So it's, I think it's probably time to go outside. I'm going to be energy efficient. That's not really charging very much. Nah, whatever. Whilst I'm at it. Whilst I'm at it. These days... I don't think I any longer need to leave this open. So I may as well make it nice and tidy. There we go. That was important. That was important. Right. Oh, we've got to config this, haven't we? God damn it. Right. Shouldn't take long. Hup. Yeah. Right, so we just need to make sure that we've got, got everything connected. Um... So it just automatically does the cycling now, which is really irritating. And also, this hasn't... Um, the first time it does it, it's, it's not worked, but it will do in future. So we w it won't open the airlock, the outside airlock door quite so quickly next time. It'll, in fact, take everything up here into the pipe and stay there until we come back in, I think. I would, I've already checked it once, and it did happen that way last time. But anyway, in the meantime... Oh, I tell you what, I, I made a slight mistake. I forgot to, to work out which one it was. One, two, three. It's it's either this one or this one. Anyway, that's the, there's the air scrubber. So I'll be taking this round so I don't forget it. Do 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 do. This is battery powered. It's little battery powered, portable battery powered, which is annoying. There's probably there's probably some way of making a non-portable one that you can actually wire into your base. I haven't actually looked into that yet. So one of these things is what we need to um, do. So, let's see, from the, from the left to the right, okay, one, two, three, four. I reckon it's probably this one. So let's try it. We may have to move the thing inside. And then we need to weld. Um, switch it on. There we go. Weld it up to two, like that. Switch it off. So one, two, three, four. So we've got to work out which one this is, and then dismantle it, and it should be fine. So, let's go back inside. Bring this in. Can we do little draggy poos? Uh, let's just actually put that away. Huh. Cycle to interior. This will take a bit of time. It won't get up to full pressure. Oh. It won't get up to any pressure at all. Oh, I think this happened last time, that's fine. We are going to lose quite a bit of pressure as a result of this. But it should, theoretically it should work again next time, unless there was a problem. With the, I might have actually forgot to hook something up or got the interior, I don't know. I'm hoping we didn't muck things up. So, okay, so one, two, three, four. That should, therefore, be the correct one. So I can dismantle this. I think it's the wrench. Yes. Ah, 
It's some... Oh, there's a... I didn't quite do that correctly. Piss. There's actually a... Yeah, okay, I buggered up. So we are going to lose all the... um. All the stuff, I'm afraid. All the the air, the air pressure. Ah, uh, well, never mind. Didn't plan for that. But we have to do it. we have to do the fallback method, and just say to hell with it, really. Right. Why can't I go there? Oh yeah, I can. I, pr I probably need to do is mine this bit out. But yeah, don't worry about that. You'll just have to go through the earth. Yeah, all the eggs, all the oxygen is now gone. All everything, including the pollutants, which is probably a, a positive development. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to mine this out, aren't I? Like this. There. Just a bit ugly now, but never mind. All right, switch that off. Switch things around a bit. So that should be okay. In fact, I don't even need to go to the airlock anymore, do I? I can just um, jetpack my way over the top. Oops, daytime. In fact, I may as well dismantle this whole bloody thing. Uh, using, again, the wrench. Uh, this whole this whole area is a bit kind of um, underground. <laughs> Never mind. Right, so what we need to do is build a corner. Right, I've definitely got it right. <laughs> I put the pipe in the right place. So now I have to put this on before we do anything else. Um, otherwise, we won't be able to attach the thing to anything. Uh, so! I mean, we have to use the airlock to get back in, which is a pain. But I'm sure we'll be fine. Ah, straight on there like that. And that's literally all we need to do in that respect. Um, they, they'll just expel things that happens to go through it. Uh, it doesn't need to do any sucking, so it doesn't need to be... Oh, this is closed now! Ah! God damn it. Fortunately, it's um, it's done a thing. Oh, well... Piss. I have to get back in. I'm going to have to just punch a hole in the wall and go in. There's no, there's no um, atmosphere in there at the moment, so may as well. Um, I'll, just, I'll go in through here. This is the advantage of setting everything up before you've actually pressurised your base. I've, I've lost a tool. Oh, there it is. It's going through here. Oh, I can't even get in through here now. <laughs> oh, it's conspiring against me. Now, I know what we'll do. We're, if we can find my mining belt. Get my... Dear, I'm going to have charge on that. I left this. I left this on, which is annoying. Right, there we go. Put that away. Pick all this stuff up. You don't want to waste it. Um, okay, so I'm not. I'm, I'm not actually going to bother fixing this up just yet. What I'm going to do? Well, first of all, I'm going to go inside and change my batteries. Then I'm going to go out and get some ice oxides. The batteries over here these days. I have actually been charging up quite nicely, so that's helpful, quite frankly. There we go. Anything to switch off? No, I think we're all good. Right, I think it's volatile finding time. There it is. Bikey, 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 blah, 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 blah. Toss. I've got a full complement of ice oxides now. Just need to reseal this up. Grab you. Grab you. Switch you on. There. I think we should I think we're fine there, aren't we? Right. Did I bring the portable scrubber or not? Oh, it's in there. Right. Right, that's fine. That's good. Right, just get rid of all that. Grab the scrubber. Now. Did you sort of like drop it on here and then wrench it on using well, the wrench, which has now completely vanished. There it is. Is that even on yet? Oh no, it's not quite on there. Hang on. There we go. Perfect. 
So it is now, the, S, the portable escrow is now no longer portable. It's ready and waiting for us to use as we see fit, which is all rather jolly. We haven't got any pr um, pressure in here. So there's not really much point in using it just yet, because as I say, we've got no bloody oxygen. So what we're doing here is this time, unlike last time where I tried to heat it up with a bloody welder, this time I'm doing the sensible solution of putting the oxygen ice in here, which will instantly melt it. Top right, you can see the pressure going up already. We've got air flapping about the place. Just going to make sure that there isn't a leak, just by standing kind of and seeing if it all kind of like it equalizes at a decent amount. Looks like it's all sticking to around 3 mkPa, all those are just like hanging out in there. So I think we're safe to continue doing this, um, which is <laughs> which is going to be a case of putting them all in one by one. Oh, got a bit of a blowback. I need to switch that on, come on. It's getting warm enough in here now for it to um, things to be melting anyway without the use of it. But this is, of course, the faster way. Look, if I actually hold this, and you see it in my right hand at the bottom, it's actually it's happening anyway, but whatever. Already we're almost at 100. In fact, we're over 100, but that's just because of where I'm standing. It'll equalise at less. In fact, it already is doing so. Let's do some more. Oh, we're blown again. Right, let's see what it feels like over here. 69? Nice. Oh, here we go. Getting a full force of the oxygen here. 75. We may actually not get up to 100 at this rate. I don't think we're losing any. It can be deceptive. Yeah, but it's stabilised around 77, so we're not going to have quite enough. This is actually an annoyingly large base. Possibly unnecessarily so for our uses. I um, just need to actually open this up. So we'll burn in one more. But we're not going to get up to the full 100, irritatingly. Oh! God damn it. It looks like we are, but then it'll settle down to, I don't know, somewhere in the 80s somewhere. Whoosh! Let's get a potential thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Right. So, got up to about 89. This is not still not enough. This, um... When you're, when you're actually coming in, um, in the manner that we've seen them, it, this needs to get up to over 100 if it's going to automatically let you in, otherwise you have to press the manual thing, which is a bit of a pain in the arse, but I'm not really going to go mining on camera at the moment. Um, so, now that's all done, I suppose I shall kind of do a little sanity test just over the airlock, just to make sure that we have definitely set this up correctly. So... Hopefully, the active vent will be sucking in the air and putting it into that pipe. Yeah, look, you can actually see some of the some of the air coming through here and, in theory, going into there. And once, once it's actually completely fully stored in that pipe... Ooh, I think we wasted a little bit, maybe. But not nearly as bad as it could have been. So we're going to leave that open this time. So that actually does work. Uh, and in fact, I may as well go to do a bit of extra mining then, whilst I've got the opportunity. Wow, this is this is the biggest bloody um, outcrop seam of ice oxides I've ever seen. Uh, this will keep us going for a while. The trouble is, stirring this stuff is a bit of a pain in the ass. You have to either stir it inside your mining belt or in a cold place below zero degrees. So I could build a little um, a little cave. And remember, back in the when we very first started this, we actually had to keep the welder in a cave, otherwise it exploded. Until they fix that bug, we could do the same for the ice oxides, but probably won't go bother. Just want to make sure that I've got a nice, um, heady amount, uh, and uh, this will this will definitely be enough. Actually, this will be enough to keep our base solid. I could get some iron as well. I'm not going to bother because your time is precious. Mine isn't. Right, let's go back and switch that off. And what I'm I'm starting to get used to it, so I can actually um now do everything like switch everything around as I'm actually on the move, um, which is all very nice. So let's. Go to there, press 5 to switch, um, so that's in there now. Might as well leave it in my hand. My mining... Oh, get out of the hole in the ground is a bit of a... I'm fine. So, back in the airlock. Uh, cycle. Close. Now pumping the oxygen from in there. 
Yep, you can see the air going backwards this time to actually fill up both tiles. There it is, busy sensing away. It should get up to about 88, shouldn't it? Um, and then nothing else will actually happen because it isn't, you know, because we haven't quite got enough air in. So I can I can just do a little bit of an override. Everything's fine. Go back to the furnace, which I probably left on. Yes, I did. And um, open that up. Put that in. Probably put one more in. And that should get us over 100. And um, permanently. If I have not missed my guess. Feels like it. Right, so I think that's it. And let's get our detector thing out. We've got oxygen and nitrogen at the moment. It's a quite nice mix, actually. We haven't got any pollutants in the air. Um, but we'll still do a bit, little bit of scrubbing. So let me just take off my helmet. I'm fine. My helmet is now off. Um, it's just over zero degrees. Um, there is actually a wall heater I could actually make at... I think it's the... It might actually be the um, here. Which will very, very slow... We can hook it up to electricity and very, very slowly it'll heat up. And wall heater is right, right there. Need a little bit of gold. May as well be doing this. We don't have any gold actually in store there at the moment. So let's just steal for some from here. There we go. And bung that in here. I really put this furnace in the wrong place. Never mind. Just the one. Switch off. I'm, I'm, not, gonna, I'm not even going to bother putting it in, on the wall. Even though it's called a wall heater. Just on the ground. Will do. That'll make that go off. That's, but that's fine. And a little bit of a three-way for the lads. Switch on. There we go. That means I can keep my helmet off. That's on and that's off. And it'll very, very slowly heat things up. But as I say, this, I just, so long as it's over zero degrees, that's all I give a toss about. Anyway, so... And um, we don't actually need to do this. I mean, when I, when I was experimenting around with this earlier, I, um, I didn't actually end up venting um, and starting again with the air. So we actually really did have to use the air scrubber, and there was like loads of stuff in the air, including pollutants, that we did actually see earlier on. Um, but that's not actually in the air at the moment, as far as I know. Although, every time you use the f this furnace, it will actually spit some nonsense out. So let's give us something to actually scrub. Um, let's do a little bit of iron. You can see the air's flapping around the place a little bit. Switch on. Go. Toxin detected. toxin detected. The woman just said toxin detected. Yeah, so already then my um, my furnace is spewing out killer stuff, so I'm going to put my helmet back on. Let's see what that actually has done. Well, we've got carbon dioxide and um, pollutant X, so we m might actually be a good idea to do a bit of scrubbing. Um, yeah, there we go. So let's do a bit of filters. I'm actually not reading the right thing there. <laughs> well, let's just skip right past it. Um, there we go. Filter pollutant, which just requires iron. And probably some... What is it? Some... CO2. There we go. There's another load of iron. Uh, these filters go in the back of... Actually, we'll go in this side of this. Go in the back of here. So, that'll be that one. There's that iron. I'll just leave it there. And CO2. We need a battery. We need a little battery. I'll use a big one for now. Even though that's probably risking it a little bit. Bung that in. And switch it on. Already the carbon dioxide has been filtered out. Oh no, it's because I'm, point I'm pointing it actually at the machine. When you point it at the machine, you can actually see exactly what's inside the machine. This is why we actually need to vent it, because otherwise it'll build up to about 8,000 pressures, um, and then it won't be able to take any more, and we'll be at threat of exploding. So, if you actually hook it up to this pipe, with a passive vent on the outside, it'll get rid of it all. It won't store it inside there. So, let's see. We actually have taken the carbon dioxide out of the air, and put it into there. But we've still got a little bit of pollutant. We've got 0 0.6 molecules, which is nothing at all. But if I actually do take off my helmet, we do actually, yeah, we do actually get that. In fact, when I took off the helmet, I think it actually spewed out a bit of carbon dioxide. 
Hence why the 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 actual outside atmosphere actually has it in it. Oh yeah, look, I'm just going to put it back on again. We don't... Yeah, whatever. Anyway, so I am trying to take out the X and the CO2 using the scrubber. That'll just slowly tick away. Um, it'll use up quite a bit of power, but whatever. Um, and eventually, it'll be in a situation where we're okay. Um, it is weird, though, that you have to get rid of absolutely every single molecule from the air before it detects a toxin. I reckon, I haven't actually experimented with this, but I reckon you could probably live with a little bit of um, toxic buildup. Like, you can just wander around, but uh, let's not even try that. We are actually getting very low with this. Um, I'm going to try and get it to zero and see if I can actually get it to a, a zero toxins detected type thing. Alright, so if I stand over here a long way away from the scrubber, we still actually have the pollutants. But if you get very close to the scrubber, you will notice that they do actually disappear. So, there's a bit of a line, there's a bit of a radius around here where we are actually safe. So let me just put this away, just for a second, so we can see what's going on. I'm going to open my helmet near, near the scrubber. There we go. Et voila! No toxins detected. I'm absolutely safe. So long as I don't walk away from the machine... Oh, actually, huh, having said that, it's fine. It looks like and we have actually got rid of enough stuff from the atmosphere. Cool! So long as I keep this on, everything will be fine. I'm going to turn it off. I don't think I'm going to be contributing too many toxins unless I'm actually going to be using the furnace. So I may as well leave that switched off. So, finally, after another, like, 40 bloody minutes, or however long this episode is going to be, um, we actually do finally have a working base. Um, there's plenty of pressure, there's more than enough inside. Um, and the airlock is now completely fully working. Um, just simply working for a small airlock. Um, we're actually getting rid of all the toxins, and everything is actually quite groovy. The only thing is, it's only, like, two degrees inside here. Um, which is kind of like a British winter, so uh, I'll cope. Anyway, yep, so thanks for watching, and um, we'll pick this up again um, very soon, maybe tackle some logic at some point, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.